Good evening, guys. My name is Zachary Butts, and I'm here to explain the RPM Act, uh, how it started, how everything got initialized, and then why the EPA is wanting to ban race cars and, and regular cars that are modified to become race cars. Um, my group believes that it's our right to do whatever we want with the cars, not related to the emissions. We believe that there are other emissions that take up a higher priority than the initial race car emission gases. To kick things off, I'd like to explain a little bit more about the, what, what the EPA is uh, and how they work. So the EPA is the United States Environmental Protection Agency, and their idea in a whole is to help with greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases are believed to be destroying our planet, and they want to lessen the emissions from the, the high priorities such as race cars industries and other things like that. The initial problem was that 28% of all greenhouse gases were transportation related. Keep in mind that this is including trains, big trucks, boats, cars, race cars. So with 28% of all greenhouse gases being transportation, they thought that most of that was race cars, not taking into account diesel trucks or regular boats. So the initial problem was that the EPA believes that the 28% of the transportation greenhouse gases are coming from race cars, which we believe is not true. Gabriel will get to that later on how he breaks up the percentages of certain industries and finalizes our ideal behind this. So without any further ado, we will get to Gabriel now, who will explain the percentages and the research that he found was the most interesting to the case that the EPA is trying to make towards the RPM Act.